I've seen this transition in a couple of videos and I wanted to share this technique with you. It's actually not that complicated. It's just that you have to get the timing right, then also add some sound effects so that it actually looks really cool. So in this case here, I have a bunch of clips that I actually found from this artist on Pexel. And we're gonna use that. The way that this effect works is that you wanna actually match these with your song beats or, or hi-hats, I guess, so that it looks a little bit better. And then I also added these sound effect okay the first step is to actually stack your clips one on top of each other so let me mute, mute these for now i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna copy these so we can see this again so we have our main clip and then we have the other clips that we want to use so we're gonna drag our other clips here and try to match it here with the speed if you press N, which is basically snapping you're gonna be able to move these a little bit more easily and that way you can adjust your clips position more easily uh, this is actually going to be the final clip so then what you want to do is grab uh, the second clip that you want to use say this one you can cut whichever section you want and then we're going to use the cropping here in our viewer function and then we can just select whichever area we want to add and then using the transform control right here we can also set this up whenever wherever we want on our screen we want to go then ahead add a few more frames or until the next beat and then add that second scene let's add this one right here and we're gonna crop these actually move these around like that maybe you want to crop these like that it doesn't have to be a rectangle you actually just have to you can actually just leave it like a square or like a vertical rectangle and then move these around like that you can also flip these upside down be as creative as you want with it and then just do these a couple of times actually do these if you do these too many times you're gonna have to spend a bunch of time making sure that all the beats match and also that the sound effects that you add match properly right but it's part of the creative process i guess and if you want to use these and this probably works best on music videos but if you want to do i was also th thinking that maybe you have like a travel video and it has a little bit more i guess you can call it aesthetic but i'm not sure what you call that style but what you can do then is add maybe like two or three like like snapping photos for of the trip like snap 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 and then you have the next scene okay so talking about the next scene then we're gonna do that so we're gonna add the next scene which is the final scene by adding this here and the way that I did this was I actually added one pre-cut of this scene, which was this one. And this one was actually cropped in the center. Like that. Then I went a few, another one here. And the second one, I also, I just basically increased the size of it. And then on the last one, what I did was I just increase the transform of it like that. That way we have that there. So if we take a look at these, let's actually hear the song. There we have that there. Okay, now for the sound effects, what I did for these was I used the same sound effects because I was a little bit tired and a little bit lazy. If you want to use the same sound effect, one cool trick that you can use is by using or adjusting the pitch. Here, this one starts at seven because we had a bunch of clips. So what it does is that I copy these and put it where the next image or collage shows up. And then I change these from seven to minus six. And then you can also play with the sense. And then I did that a bunch of times until we reach the end or the last one, right? So the more you have, the, the more numbers you would use, but it's up to you. You don't have to do it. This is just one thing that you can do if you're using only one sound effect. So there's a little bit of variation between the sounds. And then if we play this out, we have that. And actually, let me just add this and play with the sense. Nothing is set in stone, right? So let's take a look at these. And then we have our cool collage transition effect. Try it out and come back tomorrow for more.